Welcome back, YouTube. Today we're gonna be watching a, another Russian Badger video that he uploaded. Looks like it's about Lethal Company, and I am excited to see what it's gonna be like. So, yep, and there goes Twitch chat. Thank you, Saitama. Thank you for telling uh, YouTube that. Thank you. But without further ado, let's get into it. Lethal Company is like an Easter egg hunt on a minefield. I heard a squelching noise. <laughs> if that minefield was also located on a shooting range. Oh god, oh inside of a haunted house crawling with monsters the defense <laughs> With the scariest monster of all being the crushing demands of capitalism yep. what Minimum wage is like in the United States oh, Wait, is he not in the United States? Where does he live? <laughs> is he not American? I thought he was in like the Marines or Navy at one basement, point I am morally obligated to play it so my kneecaps remain unshattered and my mailbox unpipe bombed. Of course Hottie drops that. He's like, he's a furry too, Lamel. <laughs> I know I'm late to the party. I know you've already seen tons of videos and tons of streams, but I can assure you, this one is most definitely worse. Hey, Bada, does this sound like an air horn to you? And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna yap about it for 40 minutes because I'm dying to tell you why I'm in love with this YouTube poop of a game that outsold Call of Duty. I really do love going to work. <laughs> <laughs> to warn you in advance, this video is sponsored by Swouse, my brand new merch collection on sale for Swouse. a long time, but I'm not gonna tell you about it for like eight more minutes because I don't wanna interrupt the story. So let's get started. Okay, so there's this company called The Company that puts a metaphorical gun to your head and gives you two choices. Make money for the company. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. Or, if that doesn't sound like your style, your second option is summary execution by the company. Truth is, <gasps> the game was rigged from the start. That's, that is a good redoing of to New Vegas. Execution is called quota, and it doesn't matter how silly or how scary things get, it is the only thing that matters. Hey, what's up, man? You know you're gonna be summarily executed into the void of space if you don't get a quota, right? This may seem like just another boring five-letter word, Q-U-O-T-A, who cares? But the more you play this game, the more you realize it is so much more than that. You will experience horrors beyond your comprehension. Who the fuck is that? Who's that in the background there? Who's this? I don't know this model. What is that? And is she dummy thick? She looks like she's dummy thick. This guy, this guy's a creepo. Get this guy out of here. But who's this? And can I get her number? <laughs> Can I get her number? Quota. Yo, why he purple? <laughs> why he purple? <laughs> you will betray your best friends in the name of quota. Shut what? That's a child. Oh shit. shit. That was a joke, chat. That was a joke, chat. That's the. That was all a joke. Okay. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's getting you. It's getting you. It's getting you, dog. Sorry. Start the ship. Start the fucking ship. Put the keys in the ignition, please. Hear me loud and clear, and I mean loud and clear when I say it's quota or die. Yes, in the ziplock, call that shit loud and clear. Hit you in the end, you misprint. Quota is achieved by stealing. Repurposing random junk from quote abandoned industrialized moon. Yeah, it's abandoned. Look, look, it's not stealing if there's nobody there to yell at you. Okay? If nobody's there to tell you that you can't have it, it's not stealing. It's liberating. Okay? If they're not taking care of it, if they're not looking after it, it's free to grab. Sure, you were abandoned for a reason. Uh oh. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! This crap, officially called scrap, is fantastic because it makes absolutely no sense. What makes no <laughs> sense is this nuclear powered reactor I'm holding is worth less than a rubber ducky. A jar of pickles no, that's can fair. be worth more than an engine. A lamp can be worth more than a nuclear reactor. Even the bodies of your dead teammates technically have a value. And in case you weren't already depressed, each and every one of you is worth five whole credits. That's Why more than I thought. Economy <laughs> let you <laughs> trade. Five Shit human beings up. for a jar of pickles. <laughs> right. I bought you a gift. Yo, what's up? A jar of poop? Pickles? <laughs> Those are. It's got to to potentially. Value is important, but weight is even more important because the heavier something is, and the more it drains your stamina and hurts your regen. Which, in a game about sprinting away from things that want you dead, is important to keep an eye on. You can close doors on them, right? They can't open doors. Oh, they no, can they can open doors. Oh my God. Dipshit, <laughs> dumbass <laughs> spider can't even open a goofy odd doors. To opens door. <laughs> oh God, the spider has opposable thumbs. <laughs> The five basic movements you'll make while scrapping, I like to call Spidey or Dipsy. Dancing, interacting, pointing. Loaf, I saw a monster out there. Scanning, which is super important for spotting loot and bad guys, so spam that shit. And why? 
yapping. I think it goes without saying that yapping is mandatory if you hope to survive. Aren't preachers like professional yappers? I mean, they yeah. Everyone yeah. Everyone yeah. 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 Dude, those teeth be yapping. Those teeth be yapping, boy. This is a little horrifying, but it's kind of soothing at the same time. Other crap is two-handed, which means you can't access your inventory, climb ladders, or pick up anything else with a perfect example being... Oh, yes. Yo, scream it as loud as you can. I want to hear it as loud as you can. Soda! <laughs> Yo, you actually had... Soda! 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 There's all kinds of quirkiness when it comes to scrap, and the apparatus is a prime example. This mini nuclear reactor is what powers the entire facility you're looting, so once you take it, all the electricity is gone, which means no more lights and an immediate spike in radiation levels. I love grabbing. What did radiation even do? I always just ignored that whenever I played this game. I was like, oh, radiation, and eh, whatever. Just wash it off. As long as you just wash off the radiation, it legally can't hurt you, chat. Radiation is a myth. It's not, not great, not terrible. But it's not that bad. It doesn't do anything. That's just that's just United States propaganda right there. You know what? Some radiation is actually a little bit healthy for you. That's what I've heard. You know, so don't listen to, you know, big, big uh, anti-radiation technology. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. Because it makes everybody's day worse. Yeah. Pretty big fan. What is content? I've seen really content warning. Isn't that like the new twelve cores of this game? The new <laughs> lethal company? I wish this beer would stop telling me to drive. Which one of you fucks <laughs> pulled the battery? Dude, hmm? I was by myself. I was by myself picking shit up and I was like, you know what? At least I can see where I'm going and make my way back. And then all the fucking lights turned off. Why is Master Chief That's here? Crazy. Anyway. You can call me an idiot for using it as the world's largest, heaviest, most expensive flashlight, but my goals are beyond your understanding. Hey, hold up. Hey, I got a big flashlight for the crew. Get out of the way. Big flashlight coming through. Big flashlight boy on the move. Big expensive flashlight. Plenty of scrap has use beyond simply turning into credits to meet quota, like keys that unlock doors. I got a key for moments like this. Uh-oh. Hi. Oh, did absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing. Never mind. For my personal favorite, stop signs. So I can beat the shit out of bugs using stolen government infrastructure. I wish an anomaly would right now. No matter the junk you collect, it is completely worthless unless you cash it out for credits to meet quota, which is where the terminal comes in. Terminal is the second most important word in this game next to quota, because if you don't learn it, you're in trouble. Your ship's landing and takeoff is controlled by a lever on the dash, but selecting where you want to go is the terminal's business. Typing moons will tell you which are available to loot and how the weather is and trust me weather in this game oh my god i can't see a thing dick. once you've made up your mind you're typing route then where you want to go like the company building so you can cash out your scrap much like all things in lethal company the hq is also trying to kill you turning in your scrap to the window and ringing a bell will turn meaningless crap into cold hard credits but don't stand too close once the slot opens or you will also be collected oh god Ooh. oh my god they're among us no why are they among us? Why are they among us? Why are they among us? I was about to ask, like, do we have any lore on who the giant tentacle creature is? But I got immediately distracted by the sussy red guy. Am, it, am I the only one who always thinks that it's red that's sus, though? Like, I think it's just me being a racist against red things. But, jeez, why is the modding community for this game? See, if you want to make a game have good longevity and have people love the hell out of it, make sure that it's easy for people to mod it, because then that's just infinite content right there. Infinite content for you and your game. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Assuming you survive the tentacle monster, it's time for payday. Ah! I no, that's a different that, game. I mean, paycheck. The size of this paycheck not only depends on what scrap you delivered, but when you delivered it. On day zero, when quota is due, they'll pay you 100% full price for your items, but any day earlier than that, and you only get a fraction of their value, sometimes 30 cents on the dollar. This is a bunch of huh. math I don't care about. Sell whatever you want on any day you want, as long as you meet that almighty number called quota. Assume Wait, what? Why would you get less? No, I, I, I'm obviously that's how the game does it. But what would be the reasoning behind, like, if this was real life, like, oh, you delivered it early? Mm, I'm going to give you less money. Shouldn't you get, like, a price bonus? <gasps> that would be interesting. You could get, like, a price a price bonus if you spent a day sending it in early. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the logistics behind that would be. 
Humans are slave race in the game? Oh. Wow, they couldn't find a better race to do it? I mean, we kind of suck as a species, I'm just going to be honest. They couldn't get a better sa slave race? I don't know, something with four arms? Something like that? Welcome, Darren. What, what's up? Assuming you did that... Holy shit, we can finally start having fun. Now that you're no longer a little piss baby and you understand quota, let's get down to serious business. <laughs> Oh my new god. New credits come newfound options, a big one being moons. Some moons are distant, like the infamous Titan, that costs money if you want to land on. They are both high risk and high reward, because even though they cost what credits, was that? these moons have the best crap and the scariest monsters defending that crap. Hey, what's, oh, what's up, up Darren? Oh god, Freddy Fazbear. What's up, Freddy bitch? Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Back up! Back up, bro! You're moving the That Freddy Fazbear! <laughs> I, I saw, I saw four body. people lined up. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, How much money did we pay to travel okay. to this planet? Another major option for burning credits, items. And I know you're gonna ask me, so let me tell you in advance that you cannot buy beans. Hey, you want some beans? Beans? Literally, why do people play this game if you can't buy beans? That's literally the most important thing to be able to buy, and they didn't let us. What the fuck? Dude, I thought people liked this game. Why do you like this game if you can't buy beans? Beans. What, kind of beans? what the fuck? A classic. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? <laughs> what the Where'd fuck? Where'd my moon dogs go? I mean, you can download a mod if you really need beans. I think you've noticed by now. People love modding this shit. Dog, no, I think I downloaded the whole <laughs> video company. Why is he- why is he Seek Hiling? Go back. People modding this shit. Dog, no, I think I- Why- why is the Among Us Seek Hiling? Why is the Among Us doing this? Also, why does it have realistic hands? Oh god. Oh no, I don't- I didn't need to see an Among Us with a realistic hand. That's kind of disturbing, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. What, Darren? What, Darren? Downloaded the whole <laughs> video company! <laughs> and who needs beans when you got swouse? My brand new limited swouse. time that took me two years to get right, and I'll tell you why. You see, I'm one of those perpetually cold MFs that's always shivering his ass off, and that makes Carhartt hoodies my very best friend. But, the problem with wearing Carhartt is that it makes me feel like a fraud. Yes, I'll Yes, I'll If you're wearing a Carhartt hoodie and it's clean, you are not a motherfucker that should be wearing a Carhartt hoodie. I do this shit for a living. I'm not forklift certified, and I've never stepped foot on a construction site, so I've got no business wearing the wow. uniform of a- He's got no riz. He can't fucking- he, he doesn't have forklift certification? I thought this guy was supposed to be cool. Chat, why do people watch Russian Badger? Only cool people have, have forklift certification, and this guy doesn't have it? Disappointing. Literally negative riz without that ability. I hate that I just had those words come out of my mouth, Chad. I need to go get some fucking mouthwash for that. Yeah. A guy that works 37 hours a day. 85 hours a motherfucking day. So to break free of this Carhartt prison, I tried every hoodie you can imagine, from streetwear to activewear, over the past two years, and I found the final form of hoodie. I didn't like cotton hoodies because they stretch out, lose shape, and gather those beads of lint. I didn't like polyester hoodies because sitting in synthetic fabric workout gear all day made me feel like a piece of shit. My Swaux hoodie is the perfect blend of primarily cotton with a touch of polyester so it's comfortable, never bees lint, never loses shape, and always looks fit check fresh as the day you bought it. Fresh. The design is inspired by my favorite part of every day, which is the time I spend doing dumb shit with my mocap suit and the source engine. Tossing shit, breaking shit, hitting myself in the head with a brick, all the things that make you want to say Swaux. My cousin Tyler did such a great job with the designs that we decided to make t-shirts and mouse pads too. I mean, swouse pads. I am so committed to the swouse this merch that the first thousand of you to order the entire three item set at the link below will receive a handwritten thank you note from my own goddamn fingers. I'm gonna break my hands doing this. You've got two weeks from today to place an order with items arriving at your door in about three to four months. I know that's a little bit of a wait, but it makes sure that everybody who wants a hoodie can get a hoodie. Unlike those limited merch drops that sell out immediately and only a handful of people get the item. That's so fucking stupid. I stand by the quality. I mean, the reason that they do that that chat is so that it, it makes a limitation so then they can they can have the price of the item be even higher so if they have a limitation they can increase the heist for a, an induced supply and demand and then people have the FOMO effect or like oh shoot it's limited merch yeah I'll pay an extra you know hundred dollars for what this actually should be worth that's what they do it for as long as there's limitations on it, people are more likely to buy it for some ungodly known reason. If I don't want it, I don't care if it's gonna, oh, limited time sale. Okay, I wasn't gonna buy it anyways. Or, oh, it's a jacked up price, I ain't buying it then. Like, it's literally just consumerism. His, his merchandise looks pretty dope, but then, and he doesn't make it so that you have to, like, have a limited, limited run on it. 
That's good. I don't want to be that type of person that's just like, oh man, thing, this thing's being sold by this guy for limited time offer. I better get it. No, no, no. If it's a if it's a content creator that I enjoy and I want to support, sure. But all those like, what is it called? What what was the thing that sold a brick? Like it was a swag brick, or I can't even remember what it's called. But they made stuff where they literally sold a brick. Don't want that. Don't want that. I don't even know what it was called, but they make a bunch of other stuff like hoodies and 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 belts and everything. I don't want that. I don't want that. It's stupid. My products you can cancel or refund at any time. I will give you your money back. And I am begging you to place an order at the link below because this shit is too good to miss out on. Use code BADGER for 10% off and thank you for hearing me out. <laughs> Moving on from swouse to more serious items, we got to talk about flashlights. Because in Lethal Company, you live and die by the flashlight. Who put a flashlight in the cabinet with 1% battery? I'm going to crack <laughs> your fucking skull. Don't charge it! You a flashlight to spot mines, turrets, and monsters lurking in the dark, ready to nay nay your ass into an early grave. You are destined for a life of pain. There's a mine in here somewhere. Wow, there's also this turret. <laughs> <laughs> you died because no flashlight, no bread alert. These things are so critical that if you fall to your death, your teammates will have one thing to say. Damn, I really missed that flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dimension version and a pro version that is brighter, larger, and has double the battery. And if you forget to recharge it, I'm feeding your ass to a spider. All items, including flashlights, are bought via the terminal and delivered to you with a jingle that is nearly impossible to miss. Apart from flashlights, everybody's got a tier list of what's good and what's bad, and the walkie-talkie is definitely divisive. It allows you to communicate with anybody else anywhere on the map that is also holding a walkie-talkie, but my friends are so loud that I just can't use it. Oh my god. Well, all of you shut the fuck up. Items can range from useless novelties that provide zero utility. Hey, can you buy that candlelit dinner? Oh no, the Among Us is back. Items with situational utility like performance enhancing medicine to avoid losing all my ad revenue on this video, even though it's apparently a safe and legal combo of amphetamines and helium. Oh, I gotta hit it? Helium? Flashbangs in the same situational slash possibly useless category. Hey, welcome, like, Psycho Panda. Flashbang something with eight eyes because it theoretically hits them four times as hard. My homies never deploy it correctly on any monster, spiders included. He's got a flashbang. To your right, to your right. There's a mine as well. Oh my god, he held Mop. it. Mop. Hey, look, I see. Maybe it worked. Uh, I think it died. You killed it, dog. It's Welcome, dead. Cafe. I'm walking past this. Oh, no, it's not. The only item more likely to betray your teammates than a flashbang is a ladder, because no matter how sturdy it is, it is only as safe as the guy that's holding it. Just fucking drop, drop it all. Ooh. <laughs> Hate to see it. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Just the back. Is content warning a good game? Truly useful, buy I've heard other people mention it. Yoink any player you are currently spectating back to the ship, dead or alive. Just look over no. Bada's shoulders. <laughs> this is the story. It's very important to do that, because the company deducts a big chunk of credits for every crewmate you leave behind, but as long as you collect the corpse, you avoid the tax. Okay, I still don't... Uh, okay, Whoa. who's getting excited? Stop, stop, stop! Whoa. There's even an inverse teleport. Wait, you're saying, you're saying that content warning is like this game, but better. Huh. I don't know why I haven't heard that much about it. I've seen like two videos on my feed, but I have not watched anything about it. Hmm. Although I'm always like the last person to know about something. Like, oh, you know, everyone's playing Lethal Company. I was like, oh, shoot. Nice. And then everyone like moved on once that was like already a big thing. <laughs> so. Order, which means I always miss these things. Random part of the facility, as scary as that sounds. Press the yellow button. Okay. All right, let's get in there. All right, we got to go. That is horrifying that all of them are now gone. The only major downside here is that items do not travel with you, so it's best to use it for body retrieval or getting a trapped buddy out of a jam. Hey, teleport me out. I'll go back to the ship. I need to be teleported. Okay, don't move. Wait, what? What happened? Teleporting his dumbass. Wasting resources. I'm looting other sections of the map. Ooh, engine. <laughs> No way! I gotta see what happened. Yo, Loaf, are you good? <laughs> loaf, Loaf, can you hear me? Is there a Loaf still alive in here? What's that? 
That answers my question. I wait, 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 whoa, 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 go back, go back. Wait, 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 what was that? What, what is that? Is that him being hung up? What, why, why does it look like he sayori himself? The hangman? What is the hangman? I never saw one of those. What is that? That's horrifying. Like he just committed unalive. I can't say the word because of YouTube. That answers my question. I think I'm done here. And with that, it's time to move on from items to cooperation. Because if you understand teamwork, it'll open a lot of doors for you. This, this door? Yeah, open it. No, the other one that says lock, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> it goes without saying that being friendly and cooperative leads to better outcomes in Lethal Company. But if you ask me, being hostile and chaotic is a whole lot funnier. Oh, you yep, know what? 100%. You're a piece of shit, but we won't bring that up. But if you hope to meet quota, especially the larger quotas, you'll need to trust and cooperate with your teammates. Gary put it there. He said it won't go off. I don't think it's going to go off. So I think Well, yeah, I don't think so. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> I thought you said this was tech. I thought you said it was tech. Making tough choices is a fundamental part of what makes Lethal Company so addicting. And I'll illustrate this with a door. Let's say you've got a teammate being chased by a monster rushing towards the ship. And you've got two choices. Close the door and let your teammate yeah. die. And yeah. yourself. Aw, thank you for the resub, or thank you for the subscription, Darren. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the- welcome to having all of your emotes. You can now use a wave emote as well. But thank you, thank you, thank you. ...towards the ship, and you've got two choices. Close the door and let your teammate die, but keep yourself and all your other teammates safe from the monster. Close on, Digi. Yep, just close it. No, fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> or alternatively, open the door for your sprinting teammate to potentially save his life, but run the risk of the monster getting inside and killing all of you. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Okay, open up, coming, okay, coming. Okay. Open up, open up. Okay, okay, okay. Get it. Ooh, oh, no. Oh, you're all fucked. Bring the bees in, fuck bitch. This is a major reason why Lethal Company is incredible, because weighing risks and constantly making life or death decisions for both you and your teammates is always exciting. Exciting, oh, right? here they come, here they come, Grab here it. they come, here they we come. Close the door. Better hurry up, better hurry <gasps> up. Oh, what the fuck? He left him behind, he left Gary behind. Oh, no! Oh, Gary's gone. I think it's beneficial to have some pessimists on the team that may be a little negative, but also keep your feet on the ground with pragmatic decision making, especially with credit spending. Did you, did you spend 500 fucking dollars? <laughs> what? But you can't forget to balance out these negative players with hopeful optimists that bring enough energy and levity to keep the whole team going. I'm ready to work for minimum wage. The teamwork dynamic radically changes if you have the big lobby mod enabled, which is extremely popular and changes the team from a max of four players to 40 players. The what? more players you have, the less teamwork is important. If you have a lobby exceeding 10 players, it's going to feel like you picked up an entire Menards worth of contractors. The fuck is a Menards? Why does that sound like a testicle? That sounds like a euphemism for your balls. What the? Min, no, it's literally min nards. Mins and nards? That's literally just balls. Why would you name it? Wait, so we have menards and we have dicks. So if you just put a, a one menards and then you put a dick sporting goods next to it and then next to that you put another menards, you literally have cock and balls. Literally a cock and balls right there. Menards two by four bags. Bro, Menards two by fours aren't two by fours anymore. They're one point five by three point five. So fucking it. Eighty-five hours a motherfucking day. I do this shit for a living. You got soft hands. You got soft hands. Eighty-five hours. Oh my god, it's so much. You got that car hard on you. I want to make sure that kids my gas mask. How about you slap my ass and call Miss Susan to take my gun, brother? Now that I'm thinking about it, everything changes when you go beyond the default four players. A horror game isn't much of a horror game when you outnumber the monsters and all you can hear is chatter about George W. Bush. I got a picture of George W. God, why is that so Yo, what were you Hello? saying about George Bush earlier before you cut off? I was talking about my morning ritual. Uh, every morning, I wake up, I salute the flag, oh, I take a shit, oh, yes. get out of bed, and then I... <laughs> it, it takes a shit, then gets out of bed. Okay. I kiss a photo of George Bush every morning. Herschel Walker and W. It's about time we got to the... I did not even know it was Herschel Walker.
I did not even know that. Was, I just know it was H. George H. Bush. Monsters anyway, because each one being unique adds yet another layer of complexity and quite frankly, fun, if you ask me. Oh! <laughs> Wait, somebody's on the <laughs> Wait a minute. When you land on a moon, the day starts at 8.02 a.m. and it's imperative that you move as fast as possible. Go, 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 7.25 an hour, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Oh, if you ain't first, you're last. Get up that ladder, boy. Yeah, because the ship will automatically leave you behind at midnight, and as the day goes on, more and more monsters will spawn. Let's go. Oh, what the? Bomb. You might think you're built different after easy looting in the early game, but once the sun goes down, your likelihood of getting G-checked by a monster goes way up. Damn, I'm good. Out of there. I'm built. Different. Oh no, here comes the giants. I bet. Different. That's right. I made it. I'm built distinctly, bro. Oh. Damn. That's crazy. Oh, no. Ooh, nope. It's the bees. It's the bees. Nope. The first monster to keep in mind, gravity. I'm willing to bet that gravity kills more interns than any other monster, and the number yep. of times I get accused of pushing people is ridiculous. Oh, shit. Nope. <laughs> I didn't what? push him. I mean, I guided him, but I didn't push him. <laughs> I can 100% say that I have died more times in this game to me missing a fucking jump than I have to any monsters. Like, that that's like my number one killer in most video games. Like, oh, I, I could have sworn I hit the space bar, chat. I could have swore I hit the space bar, and then I just missed the entire jump. I hate it. I hate it. I hate that my inability to game causes me to miss out on more gaming. That's what happens. When you miss a jump, your gamer skills punish you by not letting you play even more game. It's really upsetting to me. Mm, kinda sussy, I'm gonna be real. Okay. Kinda sussy. Okay, fine, fuckface. Spell suspicious. <laughs> you cannot spell suspicious. Alright. S. Oh, you go first. E. He already fucked up. <laughs> Turrets are self-explanatory, but mines have a little quirk. By this point, you've already seen so many deaths to landmines that they just aren't free anymore. Mamma mia! <laughs> but what's interesting about them is that they don't detonate until you step off of them. You have to be on it. <laughs> oh, you have to be on it. So if you ever accidentally trigger one, you can save lives by getting your teammates out of the blast radius before you step off. <laughs> Some monsters you can negotiate with, like hoarding bugs, that will completely leave you alone if you drop them loot. Hey, come here, fuckface. There you go. No, no, no. <laughs> there, there. Get out of here. He's, see, he's excited. That was a good trade. It truly does not matter what that loot is. Bada literally gave one a gun, and it immediately left him alone. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Oh, let him take a I'm shotgun. Negotiate. Negotiate. Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. But don't go thinking that every monster can be negotiated with, because if you try to pull that shit with Bracken, he may not be so amused. Who the fuck is Bracken? And we'll negotiate. <gasps> <laughs> Bracken is the most beloved entity in the game that prefers red to blue and is often modded to become Freddy Fazbear. All right, if you call him Freddy Rizbear again, I'm gonna ban you, Jamesy. Oh my like, God, he's right there! Hey, what's up, my boy? Oh. Oh, oh, my God. God. Bro, I summoned him. That was me. Wait, is he that Nene? He'll snap your neck and drag your body back to his trap house if you get too close or stare too long. But if you only glance at him, he'll just leave. Oh, okay. Oh, he's shy. Chat, he's just back? shy. Okay, 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 he came back. He shattered short. Senor Bracken, come out to play. Yay. No. Oh my god. Some monster interactions are just horse shit. Like the speed that a thumper can wave dash is nothing oh, short of a death sh sense. Fucking Christ. Oh my god. I, I wasn't prepared for that. Oh my god. I was not ready. Ugh, I was not ready for this thing showing up. I didn't, I've... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that was fast. Is that, is that lore accurate speed? I've never, I, I am noticing, I didn't play this game nearly enough. Because I don't recognize most of these monsters. I know the guy that you can negotiate with. I don't think I ever saw the, the Draken. What other monsters did I see? I saw the guy who has the, the, sp the, the glangly head. Hey, yeah, she's saying hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I've never seen this one, I don't think. I've seen the spider. I've seen the gelatinous ooze, but I've never seen this motherfucker. Oh! <gasps> Jesus. 
What is that speed? I feel like Gary would be so hyped about his movement. And don't even get me started on the spooky little girl. The math required to understand her behavior. I've never seen so this one either. Find oh, girl, what this? I, I... <laughs> All right, so should I be scared or not? She's just breathing. What the fuck? She ran away because she's a scared little coward. See you later, chicken shit. Dumbass child. For the most part, each monster has flaws for you to exploit. If you don't want to get eaten by a giant, make sure he doesn't see you. There's oh, duh. Oh, if you don't want to get eaten by a dog, make sure he doesn't hear you. Chad, I'm going to say it super quietly. What the dog doing? Oh, God. Oh, look at me. I proc on sound. Stupid ass dog. <laughs> the more unique the monster's flaw, the more unique the interaction. And I think Coilhead takes the cake for me. I mean, it's just a oh weeping angel, God, right? Get out. Coilheads are invincible, but can only move when you aren't looking at them. Yeah. So making sure one of your teammates is always making eye contact is crucial. Hold E and look quick. Cooperation, to bring that up again, is the best way to deal with them. But if you have a teammate nearby and you just don't tell them, that's also a solution. Uh, it's towards... <laughs> oh. You close doors on them? Oh, what, the block? No, they open doors. All things can open doors. Oh, sh <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Do not go in there. Do not go in there. Do not go in there. Oh. All right, I'm going to go back to the ship. All right. So what happened? You You're all died. Right. So, um, <laughs> you want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Counterintuitively, he can be even more dangerous with a large group because everybody else assumes that somebody else will maintain the eye contact. Badger, this way. Badger, this you way. You a whole bit. Oh, no, wait. What if I the other way. Fire escape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god. The cutoff scream. <laughs> oh my god. I get a single frame of that scream. If you prefer fight to flight, bashing monsters to death with shovels or stop signs is an option in Lethal Company. Hey, hey, hey. Go behind you guys. Watch out. But this strategy is much more suited to a modded lobby with 10 guys running around than a default lobby with four. Get his ass, fellas. Oh, oh fuck. Nice. This game was clearly designed as a run away from the monsters game, not a space Hulk, the monsters run away from me game. He is cooked. Uh -oh, I'm gonna gobble him. <laughs> Why would you even stop? Why would you even stop? You can't fight that. <laughs> Tom and Jerry looking Dude. ass deaf. All right, fuck I'm gonna jump into the ocean. You guys be good. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Plenty of monsters are invincible. Most can out DPS you, and it always feels better to find the creative solution to the bad guy instead of trying to solve every problem with a stop sign. Well, no, no, no. You can solve every problem with a stop sign. You get a parking ticket, just hit the guy that's giving you a parking ticket with a stop sign. That's the aggressive way of telling them not to do it. You are literally hitting them with the stop. And they will stop. And they will stop moving. So just keep hitting them. And once they stop, you know that you've hit them enough. There should be no movement left. Yeah. So, you know, it's an aggressive tactic. It's literally, exactly, it's literally on the sign. Just bash it into their brain. Last large axle. I want to see take, take anything. It. All right, all right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, back up, back up. Oh, he took it! He took the whole ass large axle! I love the yippies. He's pretty happy about it. And you've already seen in this video that the scariest monsters are often your own teammates. It's also common to have a commander, so to speak, who is somebody that stays behind on the ship to monitor the radar, open secure doors, teleport players, and communicate on the radio. They're essentially the one driving the boat, having both great power and great responsibility. Let me drive the boat. His ass is being taken. Do not give him the keys. 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 He's the wheel. Let's go. What's that shit? <laughs> because if they ever decide to take off early, it means a premature death for anybody not on the Ooh. ship. And I have never seen a group of interns so angry. For what reason? We're beating Digi with a We are aligning Digi. Hello! 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 H
They just they just abandoned him. You are such a stupid moron. Do you know how much loot we had? We had thousands. Digi, we're gonna beat you to death with hammers. I hope you know that. I'd say that we revoke Digi's oxygen privileges. I, th I think privilege. Yes. 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 The future. That's the future that Amazon wants. Is like, oh no no sorry. You didn't do enough. You didn't do a good enough job in the Amazon warehouse. Sorry, but your oxygen rations have now been cut in half. So you better not do any deep breathing over there, okay? That's the future that they want. That's capitalism taken to the extreme. Give me them ten, oh, ten, ten bullets, did you? I don't feel respected here. Why do I need reverb? Wait, where did you go? <laughs> you can't leave the disrespectful space. A final question I'm sure you're asking, is lethal company scary? And the answer entirely depends on settings. If you were in the big lobby mod like me and constantly have teammates around saying things like this. You only get salt, pepper, ketchup, a little bit of poop. Uh, you know, the usual. No. It's not scary. If you jack up your brightness like I see a ton of people do, no, it's not a scary game. But if you're playing default four player regular vanilla, I think it shows how brilliant and scary, or at the very least unsettling, the game is. I never thought I'd unironically say this word, but the reason why is immersion. I know Skulker is about to bully me and tell me I smell like beans for saying that word, but hear me out. You're playing the KV2, you smell like fucking beans, dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> Unlike a Discord call, which feels flat and 2D, the proximity voice chat in this game makes it feel 3D with both distance and direction. I thought he said erection. I was like, what the fuck does that even mean? But, you know, I would say it's definitely eerie. I played this game solo one time, and I wouldn't say it's scary, but most of the time I don't get scared by games. I cannot suspend my disbelief long enough. For me to tell myself, ooh, this is scary. The scariest a game can be is if it has legit consequences for your actions. Like, oh, like this, the scariest I have ever been in a video game was Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Because to get the secret ending, you have to go like a really, you have to redo a lot of stuff to get to the, the area to then do the final boss or the final, er, the final containment i don't know what you'd call it it's, it's literally a redoing of five nights at freddy's one but with one monster in five nights at freddy's three and that was the scariest part of any game i have ever played not because the game itself was scary or that last part was scary to me it was the fact that i knew that if i screwed up i would have to redo a lot of what i just did just to get the opportunity to come back and do it all over again so I was legitimately on the edge of my seat every single time I got close to winning and that I was infuriated and really upset when I would lose. And it was the scariest I have ever been. The fear went into my body. It went into my bones because like if I don't if I don't win this, if I don't win, if I'm not successful on this attempt, I will have to go and crawl through the vents, go through it and go through the darkness and then come all the way back and then go through minutes upon minutes of the game again, just an attempt to win and get the secret ending that I could just look up on YouTube. So if you want to make a scary game, make it have consequences that punish the player, that makes them like, ooh, do I want to do this? I don't know. And that's going to put them on edge. <laughs> For lack of a better word, you are immersed in this world with 3D surround sound that temporarily tricks you into feeling like you are in a place talking to other people. I oh, think I got, got my swag up back. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Yeah. The moment I realized this was brilliant was the moment it was taken away from me. I was deep in the facility down a labyrinth of hallways and my flashlight was almost dead. I feel like it's getting kind of late, fellas, and I'm running out of battery. I called out for help from my teammates, but I was met with silence, so I tried the radio instead. Let's try this. Can anybody help me get out of the facility? I'm just totally lost. Ooh. Hello? I have never felt so completely alone in my entire life. You get so comfortable saying things out loud and hearing things said back in a 3D space that when you say something and don't hear anything back, it is haunting. Your flashlight is dead, the night is getting darker, and the only noises you can hear are monsters approaching you from all angles. Okay, I'm hearing big movement. Honestly, mm. at this point, 
he didn't see me. No, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. Just leave the facility, Badger. Yeah, just what leave. What do you think I'm trying to do? I can't find my way out. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was such a labyrinth. There was no way that I was finding my way out. That is how Lethal Company can be scary and what makes it so brilliant. When you are around others, the game really makes you feel like you're around others. I retweet a lot of shit, bro. Like, I don't keep up. I just, I just hit retweet and I keep scrolling. <laughs> when you are by yourself, the game really makes you feel like you are by yourself. We are talking 100% forever alone you are a dead man walking that they will never find. I am blown away that this game was made by one guy, and you won't one furry the extent of his goofy creativity until you've played it for yourself. Press B on things, and just, I eat it, and it disappears. <laughs> Don't eat Try. the toilet either, that's just gross. Why is there a toilet? <laughs> no. <Ooh. laughs> I'm excited to see how Lethal Company evolves in the future because since I started making this video, there's been a major update and a mountain of mods added to this game. We just yeah. met Pirate Bay Alien no, 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 Shish no, no. Kebab 47 Money. A movement different. Oh my god. What the hell? The introduction of the double barrel shotgun from this nutcracker monster has completely changed the game. This one item suddenly makes every crewmate more dangerous than a police officer hearing a falling acorn. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. <laughs> Very timely. Yeah, we got him! Damn. <laughs> Damn. I don't know why, but having this thing around crewmates is like a PDF around boomers. People are gonna die. I guarantee it. That's actually the key to just conquering boomers. Ask them to sign a PDF digitally. They just die. I asked a boomer to sign a PDF for me and he pulled out an electron microscope. <laughs> Adding a gun to the game may not sound like a big shift, but it has the ability to transform trustworthy crewmates into homicidal maniacs. You gotta, you gotta chill again. Oh, seven. Wow. Hey, what's Double kill. Is that there's a new item called the dramatic mask that is specifically designed for this purpose of turning teammates evil. As in, if you hold it up to your face, you can literally turn into a monster that attacks. Every single time I find the mask, I put it on. No, no, not immediately, though. Sometimes I will find it, and then I'll be like, Oh, dude, there's my teammate. Hey, you want to see a trick? And then I just put on the mask. I am chaotic neutral. Or chaotic evil? I don't know. I'm chaotic, at the very least. In not the cool card game that's no longer a thing. If you remember the chaotic card game, let me know down in the comments. Because I love that thing. It was so much fun when it was a thing. Not anymore, though. But the mask, you can't give me something that's going to allow me to just disrupt everything in the game and not use it. Like, what am I going to do? Sell it? No, no, no. I'm putting that thing on me and I'm going to have a chuckle. It's going to follow my dead body and be like, please, please, please infect other people. Infect other people. Because it's funny and it's content. It's just funny. Ask your teammates like a zombie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and even that thing is far less dangerous than a teammate with a shotgun in his hands. I got, I got five copies of the other <laughs> <laughs> In the hands of a reasonable teammate, the outcomes are incredibly positive because the ability to kill a monster in a split second will get you out of a jam and save lives. But putting the power of God in the hands of an unreasonable teammate, the outcomes may not be so positive. You know what? I don't even care. I eat bullets. I don't give a fuck. Let me Shoot him. You. Test it. I just had to G-check him on the head to on the head, dude. This shotgun just talks to me sometimes. You can't blame it on me. Please, give me the shotgun. I'm normal. I can be trusted with a double barrel shotgun when my teammates are unarmed. The little girl coming after me. I'm fucked. I have a gun. Little girls aren't good at Yeah, shoot guns. the little girl. No, 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 no. Only I can see her, and when she reaches me, my head is full. Ooh. Oh, she won't reach him now. I just wanted to tell him that I would solve his problem so badly. There's even a safety mechanic on this thing, because when it's loaded with the safety off, it can randomly fire, and not all of us agreed on safety rules. What happened down here? So my safety was on, and I didn't manage to shoot, but thankfully, Mickey saved me. Hey, you can just hey, never turn the safety bye. on. That solves your problem. Safety? Always off. What? Oh no. If I make it back, oh no, I do it. great. Sigrid is locked the fuck in. She was not tolerating any tomfoolery, alright? Sigrid is so locked in. Wow, what the We are reaching levels of locked in we thought previously unattainable. I was so low 
fucking locked in. <laughs> Sigurd, you fucking shot me the back of the head. If you were any more locked in, it would be considered a prison sentence. What makes this especially dangerous is that the spread on this bad boy is massive, and it has no problem clapping multiple huh. targets at once. Okay. Yo, come outside real quick. Ah! How did you kill what the all fuck? of us? Damn, somebody How killed me. How did we me. all die from that? My most recent play session in February taught me that mods can definitely enhance or weaken the experience depending on your perspective. Like cosmetics and emotes are just fine. What is gorilla? Oh, that's. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Me when I see my ops. <laughs> but if you turn on the wrong mod, like Brutal Company, it ruins everything. The fuck is that? Pasta doesn't know that there's gonna be a mine under his feet in three, two, one. And... <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh, he got this single frame execution. It may be funny for a round or two, and it may make Twitch chat laugh, but that's only because you've made the game impossible. Oh, it's where the Twitch chat can take over. Oh okay. My God, chat. That's probably the scariest thing that has ever happened to me in my life. Don't get me wrong, I'm strongly in favor of pushing the bounds of what's possible in a game and limit testing to the ends of the earth. We must limit test. But there comes a point where too much is too much. Like if you find yourself in a game where you can always hear other people talking, no matter your position on the map, the big lobby mod has gone too far. Bitch, we can hear y'all through the bookcase. Yeah, we can. As soon as I think Gary's too far away to be heard, I just hear, huh? <laughs> Instead of one lobby of 20, how about two games of 10? Four games of five, five games of four. You do the math. I think I've made my point on the mods. If you really want to squeeze the fun out of this game, less is more. This is just Gary. I don't care what you tell me. Yeah. This Who is the Gary. fuck is that? Is that Gary? Who's I'm Gary? What here. the fuck? I can't thank those of you on Twitch enough for helping me make this video. From the subs to the bits to the jokes. I used my neural link to exterminate every Kia Soul owner in existence. Oh, nice. <laughs> Why do you hate the Kia Soul so much? That makes no sense. Hell, I don't want chat to get a neural link. If chat ever gets a hold of a neural link, it's over. Kia Souls are built like Kingpin from spider -Man. I stream two hours a day, six days a week now, and having thousands of you screaming at me about my busted ass hairline really is a dream come true. It's not that bad. His hairline's not that bad. The link below. It's only available for the next 14 days, and it's a great way to support these videos while also making sure you pass the fit check. Fresh. And a final shout out to Zeekers for reminding me what kind of power an individual has in 2024. The fact that Lethal Company was made by a single person blows my mind, and I've never spent a better $10 in my entire life. <laughs> I'm gonna die. If I had two bullets and I had Hitler, Stalin, and Digi in front of me, I'd shoot Digi twice. <laughs> a classic, <laughs> classic joke. Flat. Why is my life constantly going downhill. Uh, wow. Um, um. <laughs> That's a jetpack. What is what is this hatch actually for? All right, there it goes. Wait, there's a jetpack? Wait, since when? What? Is that a mod? <laughs> Why did it do that? Why did it do that? <laughs> Why did it do that? I read the directions on the jetpack. It said, we fly high, no lie. And that's about it, dog. The it didn't lie, chat. Where's the lie? Chat, can you point to lie? He flew high. It didn't say you would come down. Didn't say you'd live. So, uh, no false advertisement. The final thing I have to say is thank you for watching all the way to the end of my video. I really hope it defied your expectations. Thank you for hearing me out on the merch, and I am so excited to see what the next video looks like. All you Twitch MFs already know it's Helldivers 2, but I am so excited to start that video. It's not even funny. Once again, thank you so much. You guys give me the greatest job in the whole wide world, and I will catch you in the next video. <laughs> I just wanted to make a weird noise Don't. to, like, really mark the end of the video, and I, I guess that works. Wow. Wow, okay. You know, this is when you know that someone makes a good video. It's like, I've said this before in the Discord, but when when a game, like, just comes out, and it's like, oh, is the game's been out for a week or less, and then someone makes a video of, like, this is the greatest game ever. I don't really like those videos all that much because they're probably going to be very surface level, and they're going to be rushed. They're going to be made very rushed. I like it when a game or a video comes out about a game, like, a month later or more, because you know that the person making it really liked the game and they put a lot of effort into the video because you know they took the time to make it they're not just like okay what what are people saying on twitter what are people saying on reddit let me just jot that down i'm just going to put into a script and then i'm going to read it over some gameplay and then badger's like nah this game is actually fun 
and I'm going to dive deep into it. I'm going to make a good analytic video on it while also making it really funny and entertaining for the viewer. And then it's like, oh, but but what if Lethal Company isn't like the, the new hotness anymore that people have talked about? He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's going to do what he enjoys and what he thinks is good, and he's going to make it on games that he actually enjoys. Because if he didn't enjoy it, you think he's going to play it that often? He's going to make a video on it? He's going to go through all the effort just to make a video on it? Hell no. Hell no. I appreciate when people make those videos that come out a month or two after the game has been hyped. Because then you know that the game has longevity and that the person actually enjoyed doing it. So uh, make, make content that you actually want to make and not when you think it needs to be made. If there's a game that's like 20 years old that you want to make a video on it, fucking do it. Just don't be that person who's like, shit, a new game just came out that everyone's calling the best thing ever. I, I haven't even played it yet, but I better start making a script so I can just make a video for it. Don't be like that. Don't be like that where you're just, you're literally just like the news, the, the, the daily news that doesn't actually put any research into it, that just pumps out a video every day, just parroting what people are saying on the internet without your actual opinion. And maybe even just going against the grind and saying like, you know what, everyone's saying this, but uh, actually it's factually incorrect because I'm not going to jump the gun. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. But uh, I'm, I'm done with my tirade. Uh, thank you for watching YouTube and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.